In this third tutorial, we are going to cover a very useful technique called box line pointing. Looking at this puzzle, we see that all the cells that are marked with a blue font we were able to solve just using the very basic logic techniques covered in the first tutorial. At that point we hit a brick wall and so out with the pencils and we marked all the possible numbers that can occur in each of the unsolved cells. Now in box line pointing we are going to look at every box or block note that I use those words interchangeably to see if any number can only occur in a particular row or column. So here note that if we look at block 1 we see that the 5 can only occur in one of those two green cells. That is, the 5 must occur in row 3 in one of those cells. This means that the 5 can't occur at any other cell in that row. So, looking at the highlighted cell, we see that that 5 cannot occur there. This, of course, is very useful because now we know that that cell must be a 4. Here is another example. In block 9, we see that again the number 5 can only occur in those three cells. And, if you see, all three cells are in the same column. This means that no other cell in that column can contain a 5 because one of those three green cells has to be a 5. So, again, looking at that highlighted cell, we see that that 5 is not possible there. This means that that cell must be a 9. So you will see this is a very, very useful technique and occurs very often in, more, in the more difficult puzzles.